Verbal reasoning. Today, though, one, you will be doing a little warm up of codes and followed by a non verbal reasoning paper. To warm up with today, we're going to do another picture of code for you. So, if you would like to pause the video and give yourself a few seconds to see if you can work out the answer. Well done if you worked out the answer was serin. So, spider for S, egg for E, R for ruler, E for elephant, and N for nuts. One final one for you to do. This is one that I did myself, so you'll have to have a good think about this. Have a pause and then see if you can work out the answer. Well done if you worked out the answer was Mrs. Wilson. So M for minions, R for red, S for straw, W for wood, I for index, L for lamp, S for scissors, and the N was nib, which is the end of the pen. To warm up with today, lower one, we're going to do some more code work. Questions one to four are quite straightforward. The second set of questions, the best way of doing these, if you remember, is to look for a good place to start. A word that has more letters or less letters than the others. So in this case, the only two tricky ones would be the two three-letter words. But you can use the four-letter and the two-letter word to help you work out which code should go to which. This sheet will be in your verbal reasoning pack. You may want to pause the video here before we begin the second part of the lesson. For the second part of today's VR, I would like you to find the non-verbal reasoning paper 4 in your packs. Please remember each time to look at the example carefully. The first page shouldn't present too many problems, although question 2 will require you to look carefully. On the second page, questions 6 to 8 are the same as the first page. Again, question 8 does require a bit of careful looking at. Questions 9 to 16 are sequences, so look carefully and then select which one will come next into the sequence. Questions 12 and 13 are also sequences, but they are slightly different. So you have to select which picture would come next. Question 12, you'll probably have a much better idea of what would come next than I would. Questions 14 and 16 are similar to 12 and 13, whereas question 15 is back to the usual sequencing. Question 17 to 24, you have to look at the first pair of pictures and complete the second pair in the same way that the first pair is. Look carefully at the example. So in this case, dog is to kennel as fish is to bowl. For question 20, that is supposed to be a baby deer, which is called a fawn. Questions 5 to 27 require you to look carefully at the pictures to see in which picture the smaller one is hidden. Questions 28 to 30 are to do with reflection. The picture on the left is reflected in the dotted mirror line. As I'm not actually there to see what you're doing, I would recommend doing questions 28 to 30 using a nice reflective surface. If you have a small mirror, that would be perfect. Pause the video while you complete the paper and then get a coloured pencil and we will go through the answers. The first four answers. Question 1 is tin. Question 2 is C. Question 3 is not. And question 4 is lot. The next four questions, whilst being fairly straightforward, you should use this opportunity to practice for when the questions get harder in this format. So the first one to look at is an easy place to start, so that would be at, because there's two letters. Then chat, because there's four letters. Then you will know hat, because it ends in at, so it would be one five ending. And then the will be the last number left. So the answers, at will be one five, the five three four, hat three one five, and chat 2315. If you got all of the first page correct, award yourself a house point. Non-VR answers. I have to say this isn't quite the same without Ismail whispering the answers to me, so I've had to use my brain a bit more here. The answer to question one is D, because all the others are musical instruments, whereas D is actually music. Question two is D, because there are seven birds on that roof, whereas on the other roofs there are eight. Question 3 is B because it's got a white strap. 
Question four is also B, because the frog is the only creature there that can't fly. And question five is D, because all the other cats, um, the majority of the colour is black. Question six is A, because it's got a solid colour, whereas the others are just white. Question seven is D, because the others you'd all wear on the top half of your body. Question eight, again, is a counting one, and it is B, because it has only got seven candles on. Question nine is B, because the train comes next in the Question 10 is D, the large bolt comes next. Question 11, the next flower is B. Question 12, I believe in the hairdressers, after you've had all your hair cut and washed, you have to D, pay the hairdresser. Question 13, the next in the sequence would be E, when the little lizard has just started to hatch more. Question 14, the next in the sequence is B, the boy putting the head onto the snowman. Question 15, it is C, the reclining chair like at the dentist comes next. And question 16 is E. Question 17 uh, is D, toothpaste. Question 18 is E, that is an elephant's foot. And question 19 is B. Question 20, fawn is to deer as calf is to cow, so that is A. Question 21 is also A, because again the queue has got shorter and there are just two people left in it. Question 22 is C, because the hot dog's lost its sausage, so the hamburger's lost its patty, I believe it's called. Question 23, I is to television as ear is to radio, so it is E. Question 24 is D. Question 25 is nice and straightforward, that is C. Question 26, the button is on the coat B. And question 27, that door handle is on the door that is E. And the last page, question 28 is A. Question 29 is C. And question 30 is E. Award yourself a suitable number of house points depending on how well you think you have done. When you've finished all that, if you still have time, there is an extension task on Atom Learning. 